growth means maturity in our relationships we've been talking about spiritual growth and we looked at the fact that uh, we must pursue growth and as we pursue growth you know, uh, we we will keep um, coming up to higher levels in god we also talked about the necessity for the word of god and a, and a desire for the word of god which will bring growth in our lives uh, but growth also means that we are mature in our relationships uh, and it's always the case with the way god uh, instructs us the in god relates to us so we have this uh, vertical connection we relate with god but since we live on the earth you now god has given us many other relationships and he wants us to relate with people uh, the horizontal uh, connection that we have with people and god uh, wants us to experience growth with him uh, and uh, in our relation ships with people first thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 12 and may the lord make you increase and abound in love to one another and to all just as we do to you so here paul is writing to the thessalonians and uh, his instruction covers uh, increasing in love and it covers increasing in sincere sincerity in fellowship or fellowship in other words relating to other believers so this is equally important you know, on the one side yes we are growing in the word and uh, you know uh, we we are growing in god in in that sense but on the other side we are living out the life that god has called us to uh, in relationship with others and that's got to be done with the god kind of love and sincerity and that shows maturity uh, when we relating to people in that manner and life is full of of experiences and uh, we we uh, find ourselves responding to circumstances and people that when we do that uh, are we responding the way jesus would respond now that's another test you know what would jesus do and why why should we respond the way jesus would respond to people uh, that's because we've been called to be like jesus we've been called to represent jesus anything short of that uh, is is really uh, immaturity so our goal is to be like jesus our goal is to respond like jesus romans 8:29 for whom he foreknew he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren so god wants us to uh, be conformed to the image of his son uh, and, and jesus would relate with people through his agape love through a uh, compassion by demonstrating the power of god when people needed god's intervention and and the same uh, is expected of us and mature relationships also mean that we move from a place of just receiving uh, to a place of giving and nurturing others uh, that uh, typifies that shows spiritual growth hebrews 5:12 for though by this time you ought to be teachers you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of god and you have come to need milk and not solid food so the writer of hebrews uh, is is uh, sharing here that at some point uh, each one of us as believers have to move from a place of just learning uh, these truths and repeatedly learning several 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 of the truths of god's word and come to a place where we know it so well uh, it's a part of how we live and we we are able to teach it to others and so nurturing others giving to others uh, right from sharing the word to ministering in other ways serving others is a sign of maturity and and uh, we've got to make this journey of growing into new levels of maturity in our relationships let's pray together heavenly father we thank you for the relationships in our lives uh, and god we we know that you expect us oh god to uh, grow up in all things and so we ask for your grace father in our relationships father we ask for uh, your your uh, wisdom god that father we will relate with forgiveness we will relate to god with sincere love uh, father we will relate to god in in true fellowship and god even as we do that lord we thank you as we love one another your word says god that you are glorified and father we ask that you be glorified in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.